Okay, it's working. You guys, I'm so excited. I was preparing for my live streaming class tonight, and so I thought, hey, uh, somebody had asked some questions about Restream. Restream is the software I use to go everywhere. I am live on Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube, as I always am. But now I am also live in my group, Cricut Design Space with Melody Lane, and in my group, Crafting with Melody Lane and Friends. So we are live streaming to five places. So I'm like, well, I want to do a test, but I want to show you something too. So I thought, well, let's upload an image. I got a trick for you. Um, some of you might just learn something. So I thought, let's do something really quick. It's It seems to be working. Um, if you are in my group, Cricut Design Space with Melody Lane, if you're watching this video from there, raise your hand. Okay, how many people actually raised their physical hand? I mean in the chat. Okay, let's go over to Design Space. Um, this is so awesome. I'm so excited. Now, my Cricut Design Space videos, uh, my classes that I do every Saturday morning at 11 a.m., I can be everywhere for you. Uh oh, it just flaked up. Okay, is it freezing up? It looks like it's freezing. Now, I checked my internet and it was good. It keeps going up and down. So, let's go over to Design Space. I'm just going to show you something really quick. Hi, Evelyn. Yeah, it's a bit laggy and I, I my internet is not the greatest today. My internet is not the greatest today. I can see it lagging. Um, okay, so we're going to upload a video. Not a video. I'm used to saying video. Upload an image. I'm going to click upload. We're in design space. Clicking upload. And we're going to find an image. We're going to browse. I'm sorry, it's freezing. I might do this video again if this is freezing. I'm going to hit complex. This is the image I want to do. Okay, Jamie says it seems to be a bit better on YouTube than on Facebook. Okay, so we want to upload this image to cut this black part out. If I upload it as it is, it's only going to be a big square. We have to clean this up. So I'm going to do the opposite of cleaning it up. I'm going to take away what I actually want to cut. So I'm going to click on the black spots. So we're only cleaning up the black spots and we're leaving everything white. Now the black parts are the parts I do want to cut. So, you know, I'm going to zoom in. I can do it faster if I zoom in. I'm using my uh, finger on my mouse to scroll up and down. When I click on these, you can see a checkerboard behind them. Not very well, but it's there. That means that is clear. That's what we want for this one. This is like a reverse upload. Let's just call it a reverse upload. We're looking good. There's my arrow from my screenshot. It's okay. We're going to hit continue. This is the print and cut. This is how we want it. If we want to do a print and cut, we're not doing a print and cut. We're going to do a cut. So even though this looks like a mess, we're going to click this one. We know this one is clicked because there is a green line around it. 
You do have to choose the one you want, otherwise the print and cut will always upload. Then we're gonna go down here to the bottom and click save. And now it's here. It's here too, I was testing. So I'm gonna click this one, bring it in. So now here it is, it's going to cut out this square and cut out all these little pieces, but what would end up if we did it this way is we would just have a big hole here. We would only have the outline of that cut and it would cut and uh, probably make a mess. We don't want that. So what we're gonna do, oh, I need to move this over so you guys can see all my buttons. We're gonna click contour. Contour is way down here at the bottom, the bottom right. We're clicking contour. And this is, I don't see it. It's in here, I promise, there it is. It's only 36%. Look at this, it's usually too big, but you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, whatever you wanna do. Now, we're not going to click on all these little spots. We're only gonna click this outside edge, or you can click over here on this top square. That's all we're going to do. And now we're going to click off of it. So we can click the X here, or we can just click anywhere else on the screen besides this white area. And now we have this image to cut. Now, you wanna know something else? You can change that from cut. Like you could cut this out of vinyl or iron-on or anything you want. You could change it to draw and it would draw it for you. You can change it to engrave and it would engrave it for you. This would be so pretty engraved. You can even make it smaller and have it engrave because you can engrave such intricate, tiny little things. It would be so pretty. And you could deboss it also. I wouldn't suggest scarring it or perforating. And let's change it back to cut. And I'm gonna show you something else. If we wanted to make colors and make it layered, all we have to do is duplicate it. Here, I'll move it over. Click contour. Oh, we didn't click it. Oh, there it is. It took a minute to come on. Uh, let's make this bigger. Let's say we just want some of these. Oh, you know what? That's not what I want. I'm gonna hide all contours. Okay, it's gonna hide them all but the center one, and I'm gonna click on one of these here. We're gonna hide that one. Whoops, click the wrong one. And let's say we want these. And you can see them coming in. Now you could do every little thing. It would take time, but you can do it. Um, okay, let's just do that. Let's change the colors of these. Let's say to blue. And now you have colors. Now you could do that with all of the images. You can duplicate this again contour. I suggest hide all contours. You're going to get that black screen. Uh, I'm going to make this bigger so we can see. Let's do this. Now I can hide that black piece again. And okay, if you've learned something today, raise your hand and tell me you're going to watch our video, our design space class. Saturday morning, 11 a.m. Eastern, where we're going to totally design from scratch in Design Space, something Pinterest inspired. We do that every fourth Saturday of the month, and that is the most popular video we do. See? Isn't that awesome? 
Okay, I see you guys are learning something. Okay, who did not know that I do classes every Saturday morning at 11 a.m.? Say, I didn't, if you did not know. I know most of you did. You guys are awesome. I'm so excited I could be live in all of these places. I had no idea until tonight. I said, I got to test this out before I teach my class. So thank you guys for being here. It was last minute decision. I'm like, let's just show them this. And we are live every Tuesday at noon Eastern, every Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. I call it Thursday Night Lives and Saturdays at 11 a.m. Eastern, and then some in between. Uh, Charlene says, how do I get projects into Design Space without having to install Design Space each time? You shouldn't have to install Design Space each time. You should just open your Design Space and uh, open your projects. I'm not sure what your... Let me look at my Design Space. So, um, here it goes. I'm not saving. I can't share that file because it's an uploaded image. So, you just click my projects. I'm not sure why you're installing every time. I'm using the Design Space app. Um, did you guys see this project? that we did today, um, you should not be installing anything every day. Uh, you may be using the browser, which is here. Let me refresh this, reload. I'm gonna show you the bar that comes up. I just talked about this in my last Saturday video. If you see this blue line at the top, that means you're using your browser. Don't use your browser anymore. This comes up every single time you open your browser. It's going to continue to do that forever. So you need to use the app. Uh, if you've already downloaded it, you're not using it. You're going back to the browser. And I do have some videos on this and all about this on my channel, youtube.com slash Melody Lane. And okay, oh, I was gonna show you that card. So earlier today, we made this card and you pull this out and then it's a card in a card. It's a card here, I don't have anything on the inside. I also added a perforation line so they can rip this off and actually have a little card or they can just keep it in this card. You can, uh, if you don't have a Cricut Maker with the perforation blade, look this goes you can always um take that out i showed in the video how to take out the perforation here's a we are moving card for fall and then it has the address in here and it has that perforation here so they can take it out stick it on their refrigerator and know your address notice this is not my address it's my number address but gratitude way i've never heard of that road i think i wish i lived on gratitude way they need to start naming streets some inspirational things. That would be fun. I would like to live there. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining me and helping me test this out. I will see you Thursday Night Live, 8 p.m., right here, wherever you're watching this. I'm coming back. Bye, guys. Oh, it's really... Not okay, work.